Hello, hello, macho mabwanji, macho mabwanji, wana wa murungu. We are the ever-increasing Word Feast team. We are bringing to you the Word of God live from China Market. Tapera, kunarika, mawe ya murungu, hallelujah. Because the Bible tells us in the book of Matthew, chapter number 27, from verses 18 to 20. He says, and Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. So here... We have come to preach the word of God like what the Bible tells us to say that go and make all people my disciples. Jesus Christ wants you to become his or her disciple. Hallelujah. He wants you to become a follower of him. He wants you to know him because he loves you. So we are the ever increasing word feast. We are a denomination that has come here to preach the word of God. We are coming from different churches. It you may be you are coming from SDA. You might be coming from Catholic. We are all one in the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. So today as we are here, we are here to bring to you the word of God because the Bible says man cannot live by bread alone but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the living God. We here here are some flyers where you can write your prayer point, where you can write also your name so that we can help each other in prayers. Muchinyanja ni kamba kuritiriko na tuma pepa na pamina muka remeko zinayano na type ya prayer point mamina mufu na tukutendi zire mko ono mapembeo we are not the one who use, we are not the one who makes things to happen but it is God, hallelujah for he said go unto me and will answer so tirinaja chikurupiriro cha each and every time when we call before the Lord, He answers. Hallelujah. So as the ever-increasing word feast team, our mandate is to preach the word of God to each and everyone, no matter where you are coming from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm going to open in the word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we come before your throne this wonderful evening. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, we are saying, may you speak with the language that everyone will understand. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you say in a way, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of your mouth. Therefore, Lord, we have gathered in this place to preach and learn from your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Father, we are praying that your word may speak in our lives. We are praying Lord, that your word may touch our hearts. We are praying, Lord, that your word may change how we live. We are praying, Lord, that your change, your word will change our minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we are believing you for miracles. We are believing you for an uplifting, oh God. We are saying as the word is going to come upon us, Father, we are not going to be the same, but we are going to be a changed people. We are going to move, Lord, in abundance. We are going to move, Lord, in wisdom. We are going to move of Lord in the truth. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I am praying for each and every person under the sound of my voice. Whoever is going to listen to it, Father, may you bring a change in their lives. May you touch their lives, Father. May you speak, Lord, supernatural abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, you say, be fruitful and multiply. We are multiplying, oh God, in wisdom. We are expanding, Lord, in our understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying, Lord, that your word, Almighty God, might be fruitful in us. We are praying, Lord, that your word, Almighty God, may find a place in our hearts, may find a place in our minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, each and every person, Lord, believe in you for miracles. Father, may you grant to those, may you grant to those, O King of Kings. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am praying, O Lord, for those who are sick by the blood of Jesus Christ. But you strive to are here. Also, it says in the book of Psalms 107, verse 20, you send your word and your word healed us and deliver us, oh God. I am praying, Father, that your word is going to heal them. I am praying, Lord, that your word is going to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. And every child of God shouting a believing amen. 
So I'm going to introduce the Minister of Way today. Let me know Zankara on the Pasa Maria Murungu. Uh, our brother, brother Eric Abuele, and the interpreter, brother Matthews Manza. Hallelujah. We can interpret the Pamela Pedro Segoro. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Jesus loves us. Amen. Yes, what you Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. So wherever you are, I want to believe that you are going to be blessed. You may be watching us on Facebook. Or maybe you are passing here. Or maybe you are just buying something. I want to assure you that the word of God will still bless you the same. Now I have entitled my message to be redemption. Redemption. And today we are going to be blessed because we are going to understand what is redemption. Because a lot of Christians they say I am redeemed. They say I am redeemed. But they don't understand really what it means to be redeemed. But today by the help of the Holy Spirit we are going to understand what is redemption and I ask you to open your heart so that Kuti, we can be blessed together. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I am going to pray that as the word of God is going to come, we are going to understand it. Shall we pray? Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We pray for the word that never fails. That oh God, as your word to be ministered here. We are going to understand what is redemption. We are going to understand what Jesus have accomplished for us on the cross. It is through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that I pray for you that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. That you may understand what Christ has done for you. That you may understand the width, the length, the height and the depth of what Christ has done, has done which is redemption. Thank you mighty God because we know that today we are going to understand your word. In Jesus is the mighty name. The Bible says that they open thee the understanding that they may understand the word and they understood your word. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. 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 So my Bible reading at the Bible reading my first scripture is going to come from the book of 2 Timothy. This was the time when Apostle Paul he was advising his son in faith called Timothy. Saying, Timothy, my son, continue in these things which I have taught you. Because there will come other people who are going to teach you something else which will be contrary from what I have taught you. But as for you, but continue in this word which I am teaching you. Continue in this word which I am teaching you. Because when you continue in them, you are going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed. Let me read the scripture. I'm reading from KJV. King James Vision. 
But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned. And hast been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child. Thou hast known the holy scriptures. Which are able to make you wise unto salvation. Through faith which is in Christ Jesus. We see from this scripture to say Timothy was a child but he was able to know the scriptures meaning the scriptures are not complicated even a child can know them even you whenever you are listening to us from you are able to know the word of God that's why we are here to the Bible says they shall know me from child to, 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 to big. This was God saying, saying, in the last days I shall reveal myself and people shall know me from young to old. Even the scripture continues, all scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine. Don't win it means teaching. Kupozira, my abalong ni opasi dwati tipozire. Teaching, kupozira. Meaning outside the word of God, we cannot know God. Kutosha kwa my abalong kustinga mosiwe malungu. Teaching here is not teaching biology, no. Kupozira, pas kupozira zindo zako schoolu. This is not teaching mathematics, no. Kupozira masamu. This is teaching God. Kupozira pali samalungu. So the scriptures are here to teach us about God. Outside the scriptures you can never know God. That's why God in revealing himself he has given us the Bible. So we need to know the scriptures for us to know God. So the scriptures are given for doctrine. For reproof. So here it means conviction. For collection. For instruction in righteousness. So the scriptures are there to direct us. I am here to let you know, child of God. If your life is confused, you need the word of God to collect it. You need the word of God to collect it. You need now don't forget that the title of the message is redemption redemption listen to what used to happen in the old time if a brother is poor he will sell himself to someone who has money when, when he sells himself to someone who has money he will become a slave to that person who has bought him. So, and when he, when he, when he has been enslaved, he cannot redeem himself. We find this story in the book of Leviticus chapter 25 verse 25. 25 verse 5. 25 verse 5. God said, if a brother is poor and his brothers got money that brother who has gone to sell himself in, in slavery his brother who has money he should go and redeem him back from the one who has bought him he should pay the amount of money which is required for the brother to be redeemed you and me when we sinned we became slaves to sin we became slaves to the devil Jesus our brother he had money he 
And he had what it takes to come and redeem us. Now listen, before I turn to the part of Jesus, God looked when we had sinned. He looked down on earth. He looked for the man who could redeem man. There was none. There was none. Because man sought out so man he needed to buy himself back remember according to the book of Leviticus chapter 25 verse 25 it says if the brother sold himself into slavery his brother who was money he should redeem him back now man had sold himself to sin Man sold himself to the devil. So it had to take man to redeem man from that sin. It had to take man to redeem man from that sin. So God looked on the earth and searched if there was anyone who could redeem man from the sea. There was none. There was none. Since there was none, Man was supposed to be in sin forever. But since God loved man, He asked Himself, What am I going to do to help man? Because I have searched on the earth and there is no one who is able to redeem man. What did God do? He searched on the earth and there is no one who is able to redeem man. Himself. He said, I am the God Almighty. There is nothing that I can fail to do. Whatsoever I plan, it must manifest. So, what did God do? For us to find out what God did, He searched on the earth and there is no one who is able to We are going to read the scripture. Remember? We are here to preach the word of God. And the only authentication of the word of God is the scripture. So we are going to read the scripture. For us to know what happened. This is what happened for, for, for this is the plan that God enforced. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. And without controversy, at Kangiwa, great is the mystery of godliness. That God manifested in the flesh. God is manifested in the flesh. God is manifested in the flesh. This is this was the plan of God. When God said that when God said for the man who could redeem man, after Mulunga Sakina Mutu and Nanga Masura Mutu, and there was no one, he said to himself, and as I am the God Almighty, and whatsoever I plan doesn't fail. What did God do? He sat down, and he sat down, and said, I am going to die for man, for me to redeem man. And he said to himself, How is that going to be possible? Because I am God, and I can't die. I can't die. I am life carrier. He said to himself, Out of me, there is going to come man who is going to die for them. And that man came on earth in the name of Jesus. He is the still God. He is still God. He is still God. He is God. So Jesus he came to die for you and me. Yes, Christ, so that we can be redeemed to the right place. So that we can be taken back to the staff where we used to be. So you and me, child of God, we 
Jesus.